us all the time, and I see them playing video games. So the one time I did win, I actually put it on the dog and threw him out in the yard. <laughs> She called me and said, Dan, you got 29,000 steps in the day. I said, yes, I'm on my way to get an ice cream right now. <laughs> all right, hey, I'm with Green Sky. How many people use Green Sky now? All right. How many people have no idea what Green Sky is? Oh, there's one. Normally, normally when I go to home shows or something and I, I do events, a lot of people go, what's Green Sky? And the marketing department tells me what a great job they do. I'm like, you know, that's not true. If I have to continue to explain what I do, you're not doing a great job, right? I'm like, if I said, hey, I'm from McDonald's, you'd go, oh, I love your fives. Anyway, we're the nation's largest home improvement finance. The largest in home improvement finance. So it's kind of funny. I don't know what I mean. Oh, there you go. The center's the laser. <laughs> Don't mess with me now, I'm going to laser. Wow! So who, who really cares about our history? Raise your hand. Even I don't. We're based in Atlanta, Georgia. We got 14,000 contractors that call us each and every week. We got about 28,000 contractors that, that use us, that are registered with us. The 14,000 of us give us at least one loan a week where they call us on a weekly basis. The largest dealers in every market, in every market, including yours, finance 60 to 70 percent of the jobs they do. Okay? And you guys are going, well, that's kind of crazy, right? But it's true. It's true. How much does a new F-150 cost? Anybody? Come on, what's a new F-150 cost? 65,000. 65,000, but I have another offer. 70 bucks. 40,000, 32,000, you're all wrong. It's, it's $499 a month because I see it on, on TV for Dave Sinclair seven or eight times a day. No money down, 499 a month. That's what we're doing. What's the average American have in the bank? Cash in your pocket, checking and savings. What do you guys think? How much? Two? Three? Anybody else? Less than a thousand? Who's on less than a thousand? There's your prize. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit your hands with it. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't complain, you got a stickers bar. $864 is what the average man has in the bank. 864 bucks. What kind of system can you put in for $864? Hey, Chuck, what kind of system can you put in for $864? None? Okay. How about you? Any system for $864? Property. Window air. You got one you can put in for $864 or you can stretch it? What's that? A month. A month. <laughs> you got a window, you got a, you got a, pair, a fan and a block of ice to put in front of it, that's about it. Yeah. That's what the average American has in the bank. So everybody would always tell me, oh, my customers pay cash. I think there's half the customers out there that don't have money to pay. So what's the average American having credit card debt? Anybody? Thirteen thousand? How much? Fifteen? Twenty? Anybody else? Who said fifteen thousand? Heads up. How about that? I'm not giving you trouble. Keep calling. <laughs> 14997 dollars The one of the price is right, you were lost, by the way. Yeah. Three dollars shy of 15 grand. So what's that tell us? It tells us that people are used to financing. And that's what they do. They shoot for it, or they just put their budget in. So, what's some of the advantages of using Green Sky? I don't require any people. Stated income loans, no matter what, how big they are, we don't have 65,000 per individual. What I mean by stated income is this, tell me what you make. Not just you, I want you and your wife. I want you and your wife and grandma that lives in the basement. You and your wife and grandma lives in the basement, your son works on McDonald's, what's he very good at as well. And I want it gross. 
I don't want what you bring home because taxes, insurance, 401k, all comes out of it. I want the family income, and I want all their income. Do they cut grass? Do they do piano lessons? Do they uh, have rental property? Stated income loans. That's a huge advantage for us. A huge advantage. Okay? I don't need to see the tax returns. I don't want you to collect them. I don't need to see the paycheck stubs. I don't want you to collect those. I don't need bank statements. I don't need W-2s. I don't want you guys to do that. How many people get a certificate of completion signed when they're done with the job? You guys all sign it and have the customer sign it that you're done with the work? Really? Nobody does that? <laughs> or are you guys just all sleeping? <laughs> Come on, let's interact with everybody. Let's interact. Who has a certificate of completion signed? Everybody? One hand? You should. We live in a one society. I don't need to see it though. For you to get paid with us, I just need you to, to punch it in and say you're done. That's it. I don't need any paperwork. I don't need to see your installation contract. None of it. Okay? We do commercial, <clears throat> residential. We do churches. We do investment property. We do rental property. The person doesn't have to be on title to it. Chuck, where do you live? What? Des Moines. Chuck, I live in St. Louis, and I just met you, but I can take out a loan to do an improvement on your house. It's not going to happen, but I could, in theory. Or my daughter lives, I've had daughter lives in California. I could do a, do a loan to do an investment to, to an improvement in her shack. I'm not going to, but in theory, I could. So if you have a customer that has a, a mother that's here in Omaha, and you're in Des Moines, she can actually do the loan for them. It makes it real easy and real convenient. It takes about 90 seconds from start to finish, guys, to do a loan for a customer. Why is it important, right? That doesn't matter. Why is it important? How many people here use Wells Fargo? Shame on you. Oh, I'm just <laughs> Here's the deal with Wells. They're marketing to your customer. They are. They want them to open a bank account. They want them to open a credit card. We don't do that. You're our customer. You are. The homeowner's not our customer. We take care of you. That's the difference. We do no interest, no payment loans for a year, for 18 months. No interest, no payments. That's our biggest hitter. That's our biggest hitter. Half my loans, I've got about I'm, I'm closing on 800 contractors in my network that do over $5 million of business a year. Okay? Half of those loans that they do, no interest no payments for a year. One loan. One loan. And we offer over 40. <coughs> I offer over 40 programs. I don't want you to offer them. I want you to offer two or three. That's it. But who here thinks I want to sell finance? I don't want you to sell finance. I don't. Well, you don't have it. I want you to offer financing. So they, they may know what this is. That's actually our, our winner in the Midwest this year. <laughs> Pretty much, right? Yeah, that's what it was. We had 12 snows in St. Louis. We normally don't do any snow. We had 12 snows over five inches. Just crazy. So your market is like an iceberg. It really is. The top portion is the smallest portion by far. And those are the people that are going to ask for finance. The bottom portion are the people that actually would take finance and you offer it. What's an excuse when you heard the house? I need to think about it. Have I heard that one? <coughs> really? Nobody's ever heard that I think about it? I'm the only one? Wow. So what's some of the excuses you've heard then? I talk to my wife, I talk to my dad, I talk to my husband, I get to talk to my brother, sister's wife's dog, who uh, had an air conditioner put on once, I gotta get done. I've got to, we have to pray on it, I've heard that one before too. No, I did, I took my hands and said, you know what, I have to go to the Concord Baptist, it's pretty good. Look, people are gonna give you an excuse, the real reason they're not, that they're not doing the job that you need is because they don't have the funds. They don't have the money. When you get them approved to Green Sky, that loan is only good for your business. Period. I can't 
can't take that long and take, take it down to Home Depot and get a bid, or take it over to Joe's HVAC and get a bid. That loan's tied specifically to your business. Nobody else's. Nobody else's. They can't even take it to another Green Sky dealer and do it there. Okay? We go down to a low 600 credit score. Low 600s. We approve 80% of the loans, and the Midwest were a little higher. 80% of the loans, my nearest competitors in the 60s. A lot of these guys are 50s. They cut them off at a 660 credit score. That's the minimum they're going to take. Anybody know the, the average American credit score? Anybody? 720 is the average? Okay. Anybody else? 650. 650? 25? Who said 650? All right. Oh, sorry, he gets it. 646 is the average credit score. 646 is the average credit score. So of all my competitors, guess what? They're not even taking the average person. They don't have money to pay. That's all they want. We want to, we want to do all of that with this. I think you're set, so Every legal citizen in the U.S. applied for a loan in the U.S. We do 240 million loans. It's pretty impressive. What's the debt? What's the debt? What's the debt? To it's an algorithm. I, we actually had one about two weeks ago, approved with a 589 credit score. Now, I'm not talking a buy deeper program. You guys know the difference between a buy deeper program and regular financing? It's this. It's what you pay. <clears throat> That's the difference between it. A buy deeper program is going to charge you guys 12 to 15 percent of the job. How's that sound? This sounds crazy too to me. I don't do it. <clears throat> now, guys, I talk the talk, but I also walk the walk. And what I mean by that is I'm also in the home improvement business like you guys. Okay? I own 40 percent of two companies, one in Kansas City and one in St. Louis. Between the two, we do about $10 million in business a year. 70% of our business is financed. Now we do windows, decks, siding, roofing, that kind of stuff. We don't compete with you guys. But who are the big boys in your market? Who are the big boys here in Omaha? Who's the largest? Man, is this thing on? Come on. They're in the room. Okay. Most of the large ones, we do business with already. Most of the large ones, we do business with already. They're already part of, our, part of our customer portfolio. It's because of ease of use. You're going to win more deals, I promise you. Your customers are going to be happy because you're going to give them something they want. My number one rule of selling in the house, guys, is this. Take care of your customer. Does it do you, the customer any good if you put a band-aid on a 20-year-old system? You know, you know that system's going to go out, right? It's going to go out. It can be dangerous, right? Let's do something that makes sense for the customer. Put it in a pivot that makes sense. So if you're using, if people are using wells, what kind of programs are you using? Zero percent? And that's, that's the big one? Okay. I, I love I love when people tell me that. Say you got a ten thousand dollar job. A ten thousand dollar job. They make up all those fancy calculators on the phone. What's that work out to if you divide ten thousand by thirty six? About three hundred bucks a month. And what's your what's your what's your dealer fee on that? Give or take. What's your dealer fee on that uh, thirty six month? 13%? Okay. What if I could get them a payment of about $150 a month? $150 a month. And then your dealer fee would be 5%. We do that all day long. It's a reduced APR. It's a 9.99% loan for 120 months. But the payment's only 150 bucks a month, as opposed to 300 which is much more affordable for the average family. Much more affordable. And you make more on it. 
Till this end. I don't care what you're selling. I don't care what the sear is. I don't care what the efficiency is. Our rules for everything you sell across the board. Everything. How many people do plumbing as well as HVAC? Okay. Great. I told you guys we approve how many? What's the percentage we approve? 80%. 80%? Who said 80% on that? Hey, Kevin. Oh, let's see if I can get you with Kit Kat. You ready? I love Kit Kats. Oh, that's on me. That's on me. You guys realize that when you don't answer the questions, I get to keep the candy. <laughs> so. We approve 80%, but we do something different. Three out of every four people that are approved, we actually offer more money than you're asking for. So, Let's say, Carl, aren't you glad you said that? You're going to pick up your day. Hey, hey, Carl, I know you applied for $10,000 for your, your, your pharmacy, that's VAC. But I also noticed that your hot water heater is 15 years old. How about we replace that while we're here for an additional $15 a month? How does that sound? Right. It's about that monthly payment, guys. Carl's like, I really don't care. I don't, I don't shout it. <laughs> Man, all the whole people. All right. So, it's all about the monthly payments. And when we over accommodate, when we offer them more money than they're asking for, half the time, if you offer them something else, they buy it. Kevin, you hear that? Half the time if you offer them something else, at that moment they buy it. You want to know another statistic? 100% of the time, if you don't offer them anything, they won't buy it. Offer them something else. You'd be surprised at what you do. Now, what am I looking at here? Uh, this is just a case study. Pretty much just says everything that I've just been telling you. you know, there's a ton of data that just shows your larger deals are going to be financed. Because when you go to the dealership to buy that car, nobody's going to pipe out that $55,000, $75,000 for what $50,000 they wanted, unless you finance it. So you get all the bells and whistles, and so can your customer when you finance those deals. All right, so you got two different kinds of customers. Everybody knows this, right? You got a person that's going to buy cash. They're going to buy cash. Yeah, but if I say, I'm going to buy cash, what's the next thing that's going to come out of my mouth? What am I going to ask you for? Yes. Discount. And that discount that you're going to give them, that comes out of materials, right? It comes out of insurance. comes out of labor. There's only one left. That's right, it comes out of profit. And that's the one I don't want to come out of. So, Let's say you're going to put in a geothermal system, it would be $30,000, and the guy says, I'm going to pay cash. He's going to expect a discount, two to $3,000 at least, right? That comes out of your profit. Great. I've got a discount for you. I'm going to give you a year of no interest and no payments. How's that sound? Stock market last year made 14.5%. If I did the math on $30,000, that's... 46.50. Give or take a few bucks off, maybe. So right around 4650 bucks. So that's 25,000, dollars That's a huge discount, isn't it? Now here's a question for you guys. You don't need to answer, but I want you to think about it. Do you think rich people don't know this math? <coughs> Do you think they don't know this math? They don't. They're not even picking up the money to be done. If you pull into a house with a couple of Mercedes in the driveway, $600,000 house, $700,000 house, they don't need financing, do they? Do they scout the lady financing? They've got the cash, right? You think all that stuff's paid for? Probably not. Probably not. Offer them that no interest, no payment, and they'll snatch it every time. Every time. And then I tell people, look, you can help sell it right from there. I offer them something simple. 
if they've already agreed to the no interest, no payments. You can say, hey, Scott, look, I know you want to do the no interest, no payments for a year, but I also noticed your hot water heater was, was a little older and needs to be replaced. I can't do this with just the furnace. But if you do the hot water heater as well, I can not only go 18 or 12 months, I can go 18 months no interest, no payments. So you'll get this year's tax return and the next year's tax return as well. How's that sound? They buy it every time. I mean, literally 90% of the time they're going to sell that just by offering that other program. They've already committed to one, but I have to move up to the next level and make more money because I offered six more months. Well, that $30,000 job I told you guys about, that's another $2,000 in savings. It's an easy upsell. The other person is buying our payments. And if you're doing the 36 month, 0%, with their payments, 300 bucks a month, as opposed to one year a little longer with interest for 150, which one do you think they want? For a family of five living on, living on a strict budget, which is the better deal? Yeah, and I'm not, and, and please, I'm, I'm not saying anything wrong on that, because you're gonna get a lot of people with that hook, that 0% interest hook. It's just, I want you guys to think outside the box and think as a customer, you can still advertise that all day long, but I tell you what, they're gonna take the lower payment every time, because that's what matters. When I go to the bank, I don't deposit interest rate, I deposit money, and that's what it's about. But when you get down to brass tax, it's about dollars and cents. All right, <coughs> this, is what, this is what we do. All right, we're gonna play a game here. We're just gonna be one of my, my favorite candy bar, a baby roof. Ooh, I love baby roofs. Can't you tell? $18,000 I'm gonna give each one of you. Like Oprah Winfrey, you guys remember her? Didn't she used to say something like she put something under the chair? She'd say something like, put it under your chair. I feel like she went with in my life on the TV show, but I know that's what she did. So I'm going to give each one of you 18000 but here's the rule. You got to spend it on something fun. You can't say something goofy like, I'm going to put it in my kid's college fund, or I'm going to invest, or I'm going to... You got to buy something fun. You have something you can have some fun with. I don't care what it is. It can be fun. You just stood up. What's your name? Jason, I'm giving you 18 grand. What are you spending it on? A new boat. A new boat? I like that. Answer. What kind of boat you get? Uh, fishing boat. Um, probably a low sun jack. <laughs> you know, Jason's the lead, but he's the only answer we've had so far. What else you got, guys? Come on, what's some, what's some fun stuff? Your what? Oh, that's a great giveaway. Oh, right. I like that too. Get them out of the water. Get them away from you for a while. You got an answer right there? Yeah, a new rifle. A new rifle? You're going to buy a howitzer for 18 grand. <laughs> yeah, you're going to yeah, we're gonna buy a military grade stuff. I don't know what that is. You're going to buy a whole mess of rifles for 18,000. What about you? There's a young guy here. What would you spend 18,000 dollars on? Uh, I'm looking at you, the ones looking away. What do you think? A bike. A bike? A bicycle or a motorcycle? Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> what kind of bike? Got a lot of specifics, don't you? Hey, man, where would you spend eighteen thousand dollars on? Come on, lady, that's looking like this. What do I? Um, a new outdoor landscape area. Wow. Okay, I guess that's for some people. All right, I'll agree with that one. Anybody back there? No. Man, I'm gonna give it to the guy. No, you already want to give me. Yeah. You're not getting one. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm with the motorcycle guy. There you go. You got a baby roof. Why eighteen thousand? It's a weird number, isn't it? Why wouldn't you say twenty or fifteen? Here's the magic formula. Write this down. This is the magic formula. I'm giving you guys the secret to success. If thirty percent of your sales are financed, if you're not using financing now, thirty percent you will increase your sales by eighteen thousand. So if you made $100,000 last year, you're going to make an additional $18,000 this year. What are you going to spend it on? If you take this 30% and it goes up higher, this number will go higher. Because the customer's average ticket with us is going to be higher than it is if they're paying cash. Tony Robbins just came out with a study where they actually they said uh, Arizona, Arizona State, and there's another one that actually came out with this and said, 
People actually have a pain sensor in their brain when they pay cash for something that hurts. And so the larger they pay out, the more it hurts. I guess it's true. People hate paying cash. If you're paying cash, you want the cheapest thing that you can get out of the This is the magic formula. So, customer applies. 85% of our loans are done with the mail. Right on your phone, right on your tablet. Takes literally 90 seconds. They get approved. They spend it with you, you get paid. It's a quick, easy process. You get paid the same day that you apply for most times. Same day. Pretty amazing, huh? They can apply one of three ways, too. They got the app, they can phone it in, our call center's in Kentucky, and we can put a link on your website where they can actually go to your website and get approved. I know that sounds great, and I recommend everybody does that because it gives you more professionalism in their eyes, but at the same time, realize only one to two percent of your sales will come from that. Okay? So, we work with all sorts of people as far as what they do as far as marketing. We provide you with customized marketing materials. Something like this. You can pull out your loan. I told you guys I didn't want to, I, that I don't want you to sell the finance. Okay? I don't. I don't want you to sell the finance. I don't want you to offer finance. There's a difference. Let me explain. What's your name? Kurt. Kurt? Kurt. Hey, Kurt. We're going to pay back some Thanks for having me out your house today. I appreciate it. Hey, we're going to look at your signing. Here's my business card. I'm going to put some brochures. And by the way, here's some finance announcements we offer. I'm going to go out and measure. It'll take me 10 or 15 minutes. I'll come and answer your questions. Fair enough? Great. Thanks. I'm done. That's it. Now, the first thing I do when I come back in, or in your case, when you come back up, hey, Kurt. I've got some great ideas for your house. This is going to be incredible. Uh, but you're going to take advantage of any of, our, any of our financing options. And right then and there, he's going to tell me, yeah, I'm looking at this one right here. I'm looking at this one right here. But what did I ask him? Word for word. Are you going to take advantage of our financing options? What does he answer with? Yeah, I'm buying. I'm buying. You just gave me the money to pay for it. When you walk into a house, that customer's praying that it's just a simple fix for the folks. Because what's he got in the bank? Yeah, about 850 bucks, right? So he's praying it's going to be that or less. By giving them that and walking away, you're giving them the opportunity to say, oh, great, I can pay for this this way. And you can do it any way. There's another one. You can do whatever you want. This is what we set up for you. We actually put your logo on and do whatever it's done. This is what I took off another company that I just kind of liked. And you just read it in front of the person and walk away. That's all it is. I don't want you to get some financing. But I want to make sure you offer it. If you offer it to everyone, you will see your sales do this. I kid you not. I kid you not. It's something that, it's something that makes sense. It really does. But once you start offering financing, you will never, ever sell another way. All right. Oh, yeah. It comes with the green and white standard. What we'll do for you, though, is we'll do something called white labeling. We'll put your logo on it, your color scheme, and so it looks like the finance is coming directly from you. It's a powerful tool when you're in the house. So, what are you looking for in a finance company? Technology, a lot of different programs, stage funding. Does anybody hear stage fund? Do you guys know what that is? Stage funding is when you take a deposit the same day or a portion of it, and then when you're finished with the job, you take the rest. The reason I suggest you guys do that is because it's legal, it's, the contract's not enforceable unless you take a deposit in any state. It's the only thing I learned in law school, is that. So, any questions at this point? 
Yes, sir. Great question. If you didn't hear it, you wanted to know what happens if the customer doesn't pay the loan. Nothing happens to you. We said the guy named Guido and Rocco to the house. <laughs> Choking. I don't actually know their names. <laughs> no, no, uh, no, no. We actually go after them. These are signature loans. So that means we're not going to take their house. We're not going to take their house. But you're paid in full. It's already done for you. So there's nothing that will happen to you. There's no risk. Okay? Any other questions? Yes, sir? Uh, when you said there's uh, no interest, no payments, is that accrued interest that's not paid off by that point and it stacks up on them? <clears throat> yeah, correct. What it is, it's actually, a, it's actually an 84 month loan with an introductory, introductory period of no interest and no payments for 12 months. If they pay it off during that first 12 months, and there's no, no loan. There's the loan is done. Same as cash. It's a, it's a valuable tool. It's a valuable tool and a big gun in your ocean. Yes, sir. So if I do send, let's say, a dozen customers to you, eight of them don't take your bill, how does that look me trying to get the 13th first bite? It doesn't affect that at all. That's not part of the algorithm. If for some reason they're not paying, yeah, that's on, that's on, on us. That's not on you. It doesn't affect the quality of who you sent to us. Anybody else have anything right now? Okay. This is how you become a Green Sky dealer if you're not already. You contact me. One, myself or one of my team will contact you. Or you can just give me your business card and I'll get you over an application. I've got some information right back there. You're welcome to it. Let me know if you just want to talk. I'm going to stay here for lunch because you know I like to eat. <laughs> All right? My okay. last slide's my favorite. Yes, sir. How do you pay them and what's it cost them? Oh, great. That's really the biggest objection. I'm glad you brought it up. I mean, I really am. Yeah. Dealer fees. Because that's what you care about, isn't it? Dealer fees. Um, anybody need to change? Coins. Anybody? Yes, what do you got? 60 cents. What do you got? Nickels, dimes, pennies? What do you got? Anybody have any change? Here's a penny. Everything? You got a penny? I have a penny. What do you got? Who's got change over here? Here's cash. Don't throw it at me. What do you got? Can I buy a quarter for me for a buck? There you go. Thanks. Here's your other. I'm going to keep it. What else you got? I got a dollar uh, eight nineteen. What, you got a dime? Yeah. Can I buy a dime from you? Yeah. For a dollar? Yeah. Great. There you go. Anybody else? Yeah, this guy. Now I went in on this job. Anybody else? 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 Now, yeah, come back this <laughs> All right. You guys would keep would have kept going as long as I had dollars, right? Yep. You would have kept going as long as I had. Yes. You're giving me change, but I'm giving you dollars. That's finance in a nutshell. What I mean by that is this. When your material, you, you charge your material to your customers, right? Whether it's a piece of copper pipe, or wire, or freon, you guys charge for that, right? Our material is money, and we charge for that. We charge for the technology. So yeah, we have dealer fees. And one of, the, one of the questions I'm always asked is, how do you make any money if it's no interest, no payments? Great question. We're like Vegas. We know a certain percentage of people are not going to pay it off during that time. But then that loan's going to roll to a 17.99% loan. 
that same introductory I would do Wells goes to like 26%. Okay. Yes, sir. Is there a There is a thousand dollars. A thousand bucks. Do they see do they have on repairs? You can do repairs. Yeah, you can rent them. You guys just want me to walk down for a dollar. Come on down! <laughs> you woke him up. Yeah, I know, I should have started with that. What the heck? Correct. On the app, you have to have a minimum of $1,000. So apply, you have to have a minimum of $1,000 Yes, sir. Same. It's the same concern style. $1,000. Yes. Now, here's the, here's the caveat with that. We're going to accept whatever. So you put in $1,000, and if you're requesting $1,000 on the customer's credit, chances are they're going to get approved for $5,000 or $3,000 or something else. But you're using a smaller amount. When you get paid, just take that smaller amount. If it's, even if it's $800 or $600. Just take that as your payment. And the loan closes out. Okay? So that's one, that's one of the tricks. We, we really don't advertise that. But that is, that's something we do. All right. So, what's it cost? I've got 40 loans. Which one do you want? I've got loans that are free. I've got loans that are 5%. I got loans that are 10%, I got loans that are 18%. Which one do you want to use? Let's use one that makes sense for both you and the customer. I tell you, we set aside about a nickel for every buck, about 5%. But then you're going to do something called blended rate financing, which is pretty simple. Carl, what's that guy next to you? What's his name? Jason. So Jason and Carl are fishing up guys. Come on, stand up. Come on, stand up, stand up, Jason Carla. Let's embarrass him. Good, we're getting a round of applause, Jason Carla! Come on, please stand up. All right, Jason Carla. I didn't think I was kidding. Stand up. Sheesh. All right, they both go to the grocery store, and Jason gets a gallon of milk and a loaf of bread. And guess what? Carla gets a gallon of milk and a loaf of bread as well, but they both go up to the register. But Jason pays in cash, Carla pulls out her debit card and swipes. Which one of them pay more for the bread and milk? They pay the same, don't they? Because the grocery store knows a certain percent of people are going to pay cash and a certain percent of people are going to swipe. What do you look like? There you go, just because I'm embarrassed, I'm doing a nice candy. That's a nice candy, so I'm not going to be. I'm staying on my diet. I say the on my diet, I had about seven ovens this morning, so I'm going that strict. So, put a blended rate in of 5%. And if a guy says to you, I'm going to pay cash, what do you discount? You can discount 5%, it won't hurt at all. It's, it's called a win win cry situation. It's a win for you because you just sold a job at retail. It's a win for the customer because just guess what? They just got you down by 5%. They're king negotiating. The only one's crying is me because I can be alone and you guys don't care about that. Yes, sir? Is the payment like a credit card payment then? Like, do you have somebody that's been approved? Yep. You leave your schedule book and everything. You're finishing off. Do you is it like a credit card charge? A person, a person is issued uh, what's called a uh, shopping pass, which is a virtual credit card. 16 days with expiration of receipt you know. Okay? You take that and you key it into your credit card, okay? And your payment hits immediately. But you're getting charged the 2% or 3% you're paying yes, for your credit card? Yes, you are. Whatever you yes, it's across the board. You should be paying about 1.75 in your credit cards. But when I, when I tell you the 5% overall, I, I include that. It's always an all-in rate. I always have 2% to it just to make sure you're covered. And I do that because I'm in the business. But I want to make sure you're covered. My sole purpose is for you guys to make more money. Hold on, what? What's that? Yeah. I'm almost out of dollars. Just have more change. Yeah. My sole purpose is for you guys to make money. And I, and I, and I say that, I know it's funny, but it's true. By doing more lending, 
right there, offering people money to buy the system if they really want. The more expensive system, the higher, the higher sear, the higher efficiency systems. Upgrading the hot water heater, whatever it is you want to do. You're going to give the customer what they really want and they're going to be happy. And in the process, you're going to make more money. How's that sound? All right, any other questions? If not, I'm out of candy. I don't have anything else for you. All right, well, thanks for your time, guys. I appreciate it.